We got asked by USM to uh, do a cultural project for the occasion of the anniversary, the 50th anniversary of um, the USM Halla Furniture. And this is uh, an exhibition parallel to the Salone de Mobile here in the Milano Design Week. This uh, show is not intended on very large public and I think it's more on the artsy side. So this is the kind of uh, shows that I actually like and I hope to see in festivals. What is interesting is that we are still puzzled by this relationship, that we live in two worlds in a way. We live in the digital and in the kind of very physical world. And I think that is something that the, this project shows in a very nice way and in a beautiful way, with objects that kind of translate this back into our real world. It's like fast forward and you know everyone is doing the same right now I think and this is it's not it's something special I like special things so that's what I'm here for. I'm super interested in systems in general how do they work and function and there are a lot of different ways of looking at that as you can see in the exhibition. So what I asked each of um, our three speakers today how and why they can be seen to use alternatives in their work. Once you actually start to um, bring an alternative to yourself, you start to use this alternative in a certain way. So it's not just about your, it was to think about not just about the comfort, but really how it can move me to think in different ways. The exhibition is interesting. For me, it is very, for me, it's very aesthetic. It is interesting to look at. It is interesting to, um, yeah, it is quite surprising. It's a great exhibition. What fascinates me is to see uh, a link between uh, different artists in, uh, working and living in different times in different places. There is somehow a discourse that is uh, underlining a process of creativity and, and cre creative production. This is something that, that fascinates me and it, it makes me willing more to understand what is the background of each uh, contribution. In a way, I was a bit worried about the site, you know, it's uh, an Italian, uh, like a classical site and then these rather modernist expositions. But then after all, I think the two things go very well together in a way. For the general public, I think it's now much more understandable, especially the modular character of the pieces comes out a bit better when they are more perfected than just like a raw prototype. And also about what modularity means to an artist, to a designer working today. I'm very impressed actually from the exhibition. I really like the mix of very like theoretical conceptual work um, in the combination with some more fun and quirky things like less did. So I think that's a nice mix of projects. On the opening night with so many people here, those glasses really provoke people to interact with each other, which was clearly the intention, and it worked. You have to learn how to handle it, but it's very nice. It's very surprising. And you know, what, you, what people wait for in Milan is to be surprised. So I'm here looking what's going on, what's happening nowadays. I'm very satisfied that they really are focused on the presence and doing things like this. This is today. You know, we can't all be individuals, there's just there's too many, we're too tightly packed on this planet. So we have to find, in a way, a modular way of having freedom within a, a system that's, that's reproducible, that's usable, that's recyclable, that's sustainable. And I see a lot of parallels there and I see a lot of that kind of thinking here.